hi finally guys i create a facebook group just for you in order to help you and assist you with your hardware problems so because many many of my followers ask me for help but in the youtube channel i cannot help you in comments so that's why i create this facebook group in order to help you until you resolve you solve your hardware problem so this is the first question i get in the group and of course i answer him so let's see the answer so this is basically the answer so george wells asked me how do you determine the value of a shorted uh, market smt basically smd component when there is no donor board or schematic available so basically george ask for example if you have for example a component in the motherboard like this one like similar capacitor didn't have here the value basically if you go to the schematic you will find its value for example here we have 4.7 microfarad 25 volts but george say here that when there is no donor board or schematic so this is my answer good question george i think you mean asim thermal capacitor okay because this is basically asim thermal capacitor does not contain the value above it but for electrolytic capacitor inductor mosfets i see all these compounds basically contain a part member above it i told him i think you mean asim thermal capacitors usually all components should have a part member but in case you encounter an unmarked component and you don't have either a schematic file or a donor board then what should you do guys replace it with another similar component with the same color and shape so let's assume that for example you have this thermal capacitors over here this one for example is failed but you want to replace it with another one but you didn't know its value because you don't have schematic of this motherboard and also a donor board so you should replace it with another ceramic capacitor exactly like this one with the same characteristic same color and same shape okay same color and same shape here for the, for example we have some ceramic capacitor you see if you have this one for example faint you should not replace it with another one like this one no replace it with like for example this one a similar one here also we have ceramic capacitor as you can see if this one is faint replace it with another ceramic capacitor like this one for example not this one or this one okay and of course if you have for example this one failed replace it with this one not this one or this one okay so this is how you can deal with problems like this problem when you have a failed component and you didn't know or above it there is no reference no part number always replace it when with another component exactly like this in color in shape okay so this is basically guys my facebook group i invite you to join me i have just here 15 members why because i created just today so this is the group guys i already post some pictures here and as you can see i have three volts always and five volts always circuit what do you know about it so basically i'm here i'm ready to discuss with you and to help you and to explain to you everything about schematics shorted motherboard did motherboards i'm here guys you are very welcome to your questions so basically i post this posts so waiting for your post and your hardware problems okay so here also i post a motherboard power sequence as you can see also what do you know about it if you have any question if you want to explain to you anything in this in the power sequence i'm here guys so basically this is the first post that i post so so ready to be a laptop motherboard repair professional in this group i'm going to help you fix laptop motherboard issues including laptop motherboard short circuit faults did motherboard faults laptop motherboard no power faults laptop motherboard diagnosis and repair laptop motherboard not charging fault etc we share also in this group tips strategies and tricks that will make you a laptop motherboard repair 
expert besides teaching you how to read and analyze laptop schematics of course the third one guys here we have welcome guys and thank you for your trust in electron copy basics erp group as you know this group is new so please do me a favor and don't hesitate to share it with your friends and people interested that you know so that the benefit will spread and the group will become a reference in fixing laptop problems so guys i want to thank you please these people these 15 people that trust me and join this group waiting for other followers so so thank you steven from malta thank you just inspired thank you david ajoka thank you larry andrew so please if i don't i didn't spill the name excuse me so thank you adibayo franklin thank you alhamdu worker thank you slipper please excuse me if i didn't spill the name so thank you muhammad saeed thank you Sero angelo thank you kavishna so thank you very much guys so guys again you are very welcome i invite you to join me i'm here to help you don't hesitate to ask me anything if you have a motherboard a bad motherboard a dead motherboard a short motherboard i'm here to help really i'm here and please do me a favor and share the group with other people like you with your friends because i want this group to be a reference in terms of laptop fixing okay and of course for anyone who want to join me you can just go to my channel and go here to about section as you can see okay and you will find all my links over here including my website my learn on patreon page etc here i have my facebook group to help you or even you can go to any video of my videos for example this video if you go to this video as you can see here so you will find here and then here more you will find the link over here so my facebook group to help you solve your laptop motherboard faults this is my facebook group so thank you very much and again thank you for this guys that joined me first by the way i will upload a very important video from one hour from now thank you very much and see you in the next video